Hey, what is good you guys welcome back to the channel and i hope all of you are well so this is the third and the final video in the unit testing unit testing in python series and in the previous two videos if you've missed them we have covered the unit test module which uh, ships as part of the standard python distribution and the doc test module which uh, allows us to embed uh, test cases within the doc strings both of them are available as part of the standard uh, distribution you don't need to do any installations in this video, we'll be talking specifically about PyTest, which is a popular third-party alternative to the unit test module. So third-party because uh, we have to install it using pip. So without any delay, let's get started. So first things first, why PyTest over unit test? And there are four reasons which I'm going to highlight one by one. The first one is that unit test is more verbose and requires you to write more lines of code. To see that, uh, what I'm highlighting on PyCharm on the left-hand side is a test case written using PyTest. And on the right-hand side, the same test case till this point written using unit test the setup and teardown methods are optional i agree but if you look at the test case itself it requires to call an extra call to the self.assert equal method so it's already a little bit more code than what you would write on the unit test so a similar functionality can be achieved using less number of lines of code so that is a clear advantage now the second thing is certain methods if you see such as assert equal tear down setup they do not follow python's puppet convention and the naming convention is a little bit off to what you would write for normal python methods the next reason is that uh, on the right hand side in the unit test module you can see that we have we have to group all the test cases within a class and the class also has to uh, inherit from unit test dot test case that is again a little bit more little bit wordy for more pe for people's life last advantage which pi pytest has over unit test is the availability of plugins leave a link in the description to all the plugin support which pytest has now let us look at a few more assertions using pytest now for uh, the first assertion which existed just checked if one is equal to one and the next assertion which I've written is uh, checking with the name Jaydeep is present in this list. The third test case which we have written checks if a particular piece of code that is 1 divided by 0 raises a particular error called a 0 division. Now how do you now how do you run the pytest? It's very simple. You just have to be in the directory where the test file is located and say python hyphen m pytest. And if you see it collected three items and all of the three have run. The output is not that verbose and to make it verbose you can just pass the hyphen b flag and it will tell you that all the three tests uh, have run and they have passed. Now passing tests are okay let us try to do something different and see how the uh, how the error output or uh, how um, the error output looks like. So if you see uh, two tests have passed one has failed and you see that it also shows you uh, which piece of code has failed and by what error so the output is also much more verbose and much more much more easy to read as well compared to unit test the command line based runner is fine when you're uh, when you're integrating these test cases within a uh, within a pipeline but you can uh, when you're running in pycharm you can also do the usual edit configurations and when you click the uh, plus button you have the pytest runner and to it you need to just supply the location where your test files are so i'm going to uh, just uh, just apply pytest demo we know that our test file is located here and when you click on ok and just run this the output would be same it would run the three test cases one of them uh, two of them would pass and one of them is failed and you know if you just click on this it will show which test has failed so those are the two ways of running uh, the pytest suit one is using the uh, one is using pycharm and the other using uh, other is using the command uh, let us now look at fixtures but before diving into what fixtures are let us look at the arrangement or the structure of a test case now each and every test case has four critical parts first is the arrange part second is the act third is the assert and fourth is the cleanup in the arrangement part is the uh, in the arrangement part is where you will take uh, take care of the setup or all the things which you need to run the test act is the act of uh, acting upon the setup or the arrangement which you did assertion is simply doing the assertion after you after you have done the act and cleanup is the part where the files uh, closing the database connections network operation uh, closing the networks and so on so forth now uh, to understand arrange act and assert i've taken an example of a test add student to facilitate this i've written a simple student class which uh, where you can add student remove a student or return a list of students here the arrangement part would consist of adding to uh, creating an object of the student class on that we can act and uh, and by act i mean we can add the student and then return a list of student on this student list we then perform an assertion whether addition has been successful or not so this is a rough this is a rough structure of a test case and this is what each and every test case would ideally contain the problem with this is suppose we have to write another test case for the student class and this time to remove a student 
here also we'll then have to create the instance of the student class do the addition and then uh, on the addition uh, do the act uh, do the act part and then on the uh, after the act we'll have to uh, we'll have to perform the assertion the problem here is that the part of initializing this uh, object of the student class has been repeated now this can be abstracted away in exact now this can be abstracted away in something which we call a fi create a fi uh, fixture in pytest it's pretty simple you can tell pytest that a particular function is fixture by decorating the function with the at pytest dot fixture so let us uh, let us say that we need this student uh, this object of the student class to be available to both test add student and test remove student then what you can simply do is uh, write a method call us uh, write a function called a student and uh, ask it to ask it to return an instance of the student class and you can use the at pytest dot fixture and this would convert the student into a, uh, this uh, this would convert the student method into a fixture now you can simply pass the student um, this fixture to each and every test that needs it and if i run this test now let me just comment this one and let me comment this one as well just to make uh, just to demonstrate that we are not using the student class which we initialized within the test and pytest hyphen v it was we, uh, we ran all the test files which i have in my project but let us just run these two test cases by pytest hyphen v and giving the name of the module test underscore pytest underscore fixtures uh, dot py and selecting this test case so let us add the test student and if you see the test cases pass successfully similarly if you uh, if you want to test remove student what you can do is call test remove student so it will run we have to be very careful that the name of the fixture has to exactly match to the uh, to the parameter which we are supplying to the test so if i just misspell student here and now try to run one of the test it will complain that the student fixture has not been found so you have to be very careful with the naming convention now uh, there, there are some ready made fixtures available as part of uh, pytest as well so you can just run pytest hyphen fixtures let's try to spell fixtures correctly and certain fixtures are readily available so uh, some of the important ones which uh, i think are so if you need uh, a temporary directory uh, then you can just pass the temp dot so i can just do something called as def test underscore uh, temp dir and i can just pass as the uh, pass it the temp directory fixture and uh, just name it correctly print temp dot and assert false uh, let's spell false correctly as well eventually get there and now if we try to run it test tmp dir if you see it assert false but it gives us the temporary uh, temporary directory which uh, this fixture created now we can also abstract away these uh, fixtures by placing them in a conf test uh, conf file so you can create a, uh, at the project level what you can do is you can create a file called as conf test uh, the name has to be exact conf test.py and here what you can do is you can just uh, abstract away this and place all your fixtures which should be available so what what this will do is it will give you a global scale, uh, global scope to all your fixtures and they'll be available throughout now if i just minimize this and i uh, try to run this test case so let's see if it runs or not more often than not it should run uh, it's not because uh, pytest is not different okay yeah, i think we Im uh, forgot to import pytest here and let us now go back and try to run this uh, it is still failing but the name student is not defined okay i think we know one more time why from student uh, i think this one so what we'll do is we'll also abstract this away and uh, let us just refactor this and move it to its own class so student.py and here what we'll do is from student import student and now let us run uh, run this test case one more time and yeah this time it's run so you can abstract away, uh, abstract away all your not abstract away but you can just put all your uh, fixtures in this contest.py and they'll be avail available globally similarly this test case will run as well so yeah, that is a handy way to put all your fixtures uh, give a global scope to all your fixtures let us look at markers 
Markers allow you to mark name or tag tests and based on these markers you can either choose to run or skip tests. So how to initialize a marker? Very simple. To assign a marker, it is very simple. To each and every test case which you want to mark, you can just do at pytest.mark and dot give it the name. So this is a user defined marker and if you just want to run all the test cases with uh, which have the mark very basic, what you can do is pytest hyphen v hyphen m and give it very basic which is the marker of the test and if you see it will run only one test 10 have been deselected and only one has passed if you want to run all the test cases which do not have the word very basic you can just do not if you see uh, one has been deselected and this is test uh, this is the very basic test this is a custom marker which we created but uh, pytest also comes with a lot of inbuilt markers and you can just see a list of all of them by doing pytest hyphen markers and so a list of this is available we're going to try a couple of them uh, the first one which you're going to look at is xfail and what xfail does is it tells pytest that this test is expected to fail and we give it the reason so let us now run this try to run this test case let's try to run this test case now and pytest will tell us that you know this test was expected to fail and it will it won't mark it as fail now if i just comment this uh, marker let's see what happens if you see uh, pytest starts to fail this test so this is how uh, uh, this is how you can use the xfail marker which comes in inbuilt as part of the pytest distribution similarly we have the skip if as well and there's a corresponding skip and it's similar to skipping the test cases so if i want to tell if you want to tell if i want to tell pytest that i want to run a particular test only for a particular operating system you can do that by using the uh, skip if marker now there are a lot of markers which are available and markers is actually a very broad topic to explain that what i'll do is i'll bring up the documentation so if you see uh, we, have, uh, we have done this we have done the uh, selection that is running particular test cases but you can also do uh, you know expression matching that you want to run test cases which have a particular word so if you see here what they've done is they have only run test cases which contain the word http and that's why only http has passed similarly uh, no, uh, the test case which do not contain the word send http all the test cases have run and you can just do or as well http or quick and you know the uh, test cases which contain the word quick uh, http or quick will be run this is just uh, this is just a you know a, a tip of the iceberg there are a lot of functionalities available and you can just look at the documentation page and uh, you can just mark you know uh, you can mark the whole classes or modules and so on and so forth i think there's one interesting bit which we uh, want to talk about i think is uh, giving uh, names I think uh, giving names to the markers yeah so if, if you see what we have done so far is we have generated the names for the markers uh, on our own we have given the name here but what pytest also allows you to do is you know kind of uh, generate or uh, generate the names of the markers on themselves so what you can do is you can in the contest uh, you can just call, import pytest items is again a, a special pytest construct and within that you can just uh, you know um, uh, iterate over this items dot node id node id is nothing but the name of the test so this is the node id and you can just assign uh, names to the test as well not names but markers so you can just have a look at the document markers are available which can uh, which can serve various uh, use cases let's try to parameterize test cases uh, we saw in unit test as well that pa uh, parameterizing uh, test cases is, is Parameterizing test cases is essential because uh, obviously we cannot write the same test case over and over again. So what you can just do is pass in uh, the all the uh, test inputs and the expected output as uh, uh, as parameters, and a single test can run all of them. Now the way to do uh, parameterization in Pytest is using markers, and there's an inbuilt marker or which comes in with Pytest, and it it is called as parameterize. To it, first we give the uh, expected test input, uh, the test input which we are going to pass then the expected output and that has to be passed in as tuples so what we what we are essentially giving is uh, um, expressions expressions which we are going to evaluate and the, out, uh, the expected output of the expression and if i just pass in the test input and the expected output and run this test case it should run all of them and similar to unit test the behavior is standard as well if one of the test case fails only that is marked as fail rest of the test cases do run because we know that you know uh, minus 10 plus 10 is zero and so if i just correct this now and run this test case again all of them uh, marker we can use another marker as well so for example uh, this uh, test case so suppose we don't know math and we you know, do, we don't know what minus 10 plus 10 is going to be and so we just want to skip this test or we want to fail this test what you can do is then pytest.param and to this you can just pass in the uh, the 
test input and the expected value and here what you can also do is pi test dot uh, not pi yes but pi test dot x fail and the, uh, let's give it a nice reason uh, equal to uh, i do not know math and in this case what will happen is pi test won't fail this test now let us run this or pi test rather expects that this test to fail and if you see uh, let's see something wrong has happened but that's okay uh, here. Okay, pi test dot pi marks and let us run this now. I think there was just a typo and let's run this now. Okay, top level collect some issue with the top level. I forgot the mark itself. Yeah. yeah, and hopefully they should now run okay. And if you see one of the tests has a uh, you know, pi test, expect this test to fail so we you know it has not given an error for this test case so this is how you can uh, kind of embed ma embed markers within one another to make it uh, make the test case uh, more robust and depending on what your expected behavior is and is talking about markers with a word of caution now we can uh, you can see that the name very basic or the name of the marker is, is given by us and it is very easy to get things wrong so in order to work around that what you can do is create a pytest.any file and within that you can give adopts is equal to uh, you can use the adopts with the strict marker flag and uh, specify all the markers which we want to have in a test cases so if you see very basic is the marker which we have configured and we, very basic is available now if i run this test case very basic this will run okay now but if i just rename this marker pi test will warn us that you know a very basic one is not found in the list of the markers so you know uh, there's a potential problem so this is how we can store all your markers in a pytest.ini file and make sure you're only running uh, those markers which uh, which you have configured in the ini file also uh, this very basic marker will now be available in the list of markers so if we just do pytest hyphen markers at the very top you can see uh, the very basic marker is let's wrap up the discussion around pytest by looking at the uh, community support or the whole ecosystem which is one of the advantages a lot of a uh, lot of plugins are readily available which allow you to do a lot of additional functionality i am at the documentation page of pytest and you can see all the available list of uh, plugins which are available this plugin is called as pytest html and what it does is it allows you to send the output of test cases to an html page and the way to do it is very simple I'm going to run the test case as normal pytest and give the name of the module where the test cases are stored and give the double hyphen html flag and the output name of the file and you can see that the file is already generated let's try to open this and you can see it gives a nice html representation of all the test cases have that and that have passed a skipped failed and so on and so forth you can also uh, uncheck this to kind of not see the other results so if you just want to see what's passed you can do that as well but if i don't want to see anything or just which has uh, failed or has some unexpected errors you can do that as well so that is all about pytest and in this video we looked at why pytest is a popular alternative to unit test we looked at various assertions we looked at fixtures which help us basically uh, to replicate the setup and tear down behavior of the unit test markers which help us to select deselect test cases and also parameterization which is again a, which is just a marker which uh, pytest provides we also looked at setting up markers and fixtures at global level and how we can enforce certain behaviors we finished off this tutorial by looking at the ecosystem or the plugins which are available to pytest which makes it more appealing uh, to unit test so pytest clearly has some advantages over the unit test module and i strongly urge uh, you to select it as your next testing module also we'll finish off this tutorial by giving a shout out to the documentation of pytest which is very comprehensive and i think if you get stuck or if you need any help that is the best place to go to do check it out and get your hands dirty so that is it for this video guys if you're new to the channel do consider subscribing if you haven't already done so and also leave your valuable feedback in the comment section also like the uh, like the video for the algorithm and do consider sharing it with your friends thank you for watching